music there. Mm, of course. Uh, moving on from that now, we have, uh, we're going to have an up close and personal uh, talk with Eric Reverend. Yes, and yeah? he's a UK based recording artist, an award winning singer, songwriter, and worship leader. It's great to have you. Thank you. You Thank are you. welcome. I want you have quite a very remarkable story mm -hmm. from growing up up until now. How you were able to overcome depression and all of that and become a blessing to other people. Now, this is something I want to talk about. How does somebody who might probably have been in your case growing up, how can they get out of such situations and establish themselves and maybe become um, a blessing to their world? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Obviously, um, you know, we, we all go through challenges in life. And from my personal experience, um, at a time of when I was actually going to commit suicide mm. because of the whole um, how I was abused and um, went through the whole depression and so forth. But it's about believing in yourself, you know. And, and also, if you live with unforgiveness in your heart, mm. it stops you from moving forward. Mm. So mm. Um, I had to learn to let that go for those that hurt me, um, those negative words that were spoken over my life, I had to learn to just let it go. And it, was, it wasn't like a straightforward thing. It was a you know, process. Mm. And the moment I, I released all of it, have, have I forgotten about it? No. But I'm free because I chose and made that decision to let go and to forgive. Because one thing about forgiveness is that even though someone may have treated you so bad or hurt you and so forth, um, they might be moving on in life, mm. but you're the one that's stuck. Yes. <clears throat> you're the one that's stuck. Mm. So for those that are listening, you know, it's a process. Let it go. Try your best. Forgive. And then gradually build yourself up and just believe okay. in yourself. All yeah. right. Um, quickly, let's, I mean, you, you were born in Ghana. Yes, mm. I was. And you've moved from one country to the other since the age of 12. Mm. And how has this, you know, um, movement, your journey so far in all of these places, influenced your music administration? Yes. So, um, I mean, I've came from a musical background, you know, remember in Ghana, at a young age, I'll be playing with milk cans and tins. And <laughs> so that's why I guess my training mm. started. My uncle was a musician as well. So oh. uh, and in the schools, I used to play the drums as when we do the marching to assemblies and so forth. Mm. And then went to Canada, got into the music band in there as well. But for singing, when we came to the UK... Wait, wait, in Canada and UK, do they still march to assembly? Uh, no, 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 in so Ghana. Assembly, just in Ghana. Ghana. Do they still assembly in No, in Ghana, no, in Ghana. So, just kidding. Uh, thank you. So, um, yeah, came, coming to the UK at the age of 14, my mum was the choir leader at the Methodist Church, and she got me involved in the choir. And um, from there, one thing led to another, I started to lead some of the choir um, singing and so forth. And then I developed the skills of writing songs um, at that age and got invited to, I was one of the 10 young people from the whole of the UK to be invited to go to the US for a national conference. Mm. And from there, I met other young people. I was able to write a song that was sung to about 25,000 people mm. in there. And from there, one thing led to another. Um, I became a professional artist mm. about 11 years ago. And from okay. there... Um, it's been... Yeah, it's been, yeah. I mean, it's not, it, it's not like all nice and rosy. Yeah. It's all rosy. But, um, but you've gone through But I've been through, you know, and um, I'm happy with how things have gone. Right. And so setbacks are good, you know. Okay, so let's yeah. just feel a little bit of your music, shall okay. we? Great. All right. Wow, that is really, really amazing. So do we in those different countries? countries? This? Yes. Um, You're very sure? This, yeah. some, no, no, no. This was probably the most, the, the biggest and the most inspirational um, song I've done. Okay. It involved over 60 musical artists from all over the world. Okay. How and, did you reach out to all of them? Um, wow. <laughs> so during the COVID time, yeah, huh? you okay. know, we needed, you know, everyone was going, people were dying uh, yeah, and so okay. forth. So we need, need to bring some a hope to everyone and also to raise funds to those that have been affected most. So okay. this vision came in my mind and um, wrote the song. And I've got contacts in, you know, all over the world as well. So through that, people were able to introduce me to other artists and so forth. Um, 
I mean, I'll be asleep, like, cruise through different time zones. Okay. I'll be liaising with some from 5 a.m., 12 a.m., 3 a.m., cruise right. different time, time zones. Zone to all but um, even with the minimum um, resources, because everything mm. was shut down, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. People used their phone. Bones, Those that were yeah. able to go to studio did mm. it. They okay. sent it forth to the producer who was in South Africa. We were able to, and then the, um, the video production team in the UK as well put everything, put everything together, together and came out with this with, and with it that. was so so amazing yes okay me. yeah it is so it let's is. talk about what you are doing here in yeah. nigeria uh, you've been here now for over a week and all that what are you doing in nigeria so now? i'm here on the miracle tour okay and um it's just to bring hope you know i know we, we, we take miracle as science and wonders which is true but miracle to me is we are sitting here we are alive mm. okay. we woke up to see another day mm. there that's are many miracle. people that didn't wake up to see another day yeah. okay. we have our hands we have our feet we are, that's a miracle so hmm. it's just to promote that listen we should be grateful for what hmm. we have sometimes we complain we moan we do all that and this is why i'm here for to bring hope to obviously work with young people as well through what i've been through and to encourage them that listen regardless of what you're going through you can be somebody yeah so you talked about the tour are you still going to other countries if there are other countries you're going to adjust? oh yes i will be so um nigeria is my focus at the moment you know i'll be doing a lot of musical stuff as well okay. and producing songs that are coming soon All as right. well so thank yeah thank you so much right. eric reverend it's yep. been such a blessing thank having you, so you here much. on our couch thank you and uh, we have to go on a quick break now it is we're doing a bit <laughs>